Hey guys, MPTV Matt Piper, the soccer mentor. Mm, had a shave. Getting ready for Christmas. Um, as always, thanks for watching the videos. I've got a couple of um, questions that I'm going to answer today. One is from Eduardo. Thanks for the question, Eduardo. And one is from Sajil. Sajil? Sajil. And uh, I'm going to answer these questions today. Now, both have asked in my videos before, and they're probably both right. Um, some of my information I give when I'm talking about either passing, shooting, um, long passing, um, the position of the knee. Sometimes I say have it above the ball. Sometimes I say have it below the ball, um, which is a little bit confusing. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to um, show you the mechanics, what I'm talking about today on the tactics board. And um, keep watching guys, because this is my 49th video, believe it or not. And the 50th video is going to be before Christmas. Um, and it's going to be that giveaway I spoke about. So um, that's going to be good. I'm going to make sure it's a good prize as well, because as I always say, I appreciate you guys. Um, tuning in and watching these um, videos and as always I hope they're helping so when we're talking about either above the ball near above the ball or below the ball it's all about mechanics mechanics um, when you're talking in a sport relative situation is the way you move or the position of the body to define a result okay well, that's how I that's how I'm gonna gonna talk about it so when I'm talking about keep your knee over the ball, so here's the ball. So knee over the ball would be here, this position. Alright, so it comes down and the foot would be here. Alright, so this is the knee over the ball. Now the mechanics of this, so here's the, here's the person, you want to be at this angle when you're shooting. Alright, arms nice and balanced. Sorry I'm drawing with stickman, I told you I'm a shocking drawer. All right, here's the head. Standing foot would be somewhere down here. So as that knee is over the ball, the mechanics of the leg can only be, and the mechanics of the foot, because your knee is in this position, this is the critical part of it, knee over the ball, your foot will be pointing towards the floor. Okay, here's the laces. When we talk about striking with the laces, here's the laces. So if your knee is over the ball, body over the ball, alright, nice and balanced over the ball, the ball, the foot has to be in this position, it has to be, because that's the mechanics of the body, if you put your knee over the ball, alright, and then it comes down to your foot, your foot can't be in this position, alright, the mechanics of the body and the leg won't allow that, alright, that's why people talk about having the knee over the ball, because having the knee over the ball will always point the toes towards the ground okay so when this is struck all right nice balance body over the ball leg um, arms nice and wide to keep a good center mass all right drive through the buttock all right through the hip knee over the ball power comes from this part the power comes from your your bum your hip all right nice stiff leg action obviously not too stiff but a nice stiff ankle all right so when this point of contact it will keep the ball low always will keep the ball low all right because your knee is over the ball your your body is um, over the ball chest over the ball knee over the ball you're driving through the ball it will keep the ball low all right and you're hitting with the laces remember six to eight inches standing foot all right standing foot needs to be six to eight inches away from the ball knee over the ball chest over the ball nice center balance bang strike through the ball drive from the hip and the buttock area it will keep the ball low and true all right so that's the mechanics of keeping a shot low or a pass low okay so now when I talk about, I've spoke about before, knee behind the ball and below the ball. What I mean by that is, the mechanics of this would be, again, you're going to be more at this angle, right? more at upright angle with the body. Knee 
will be here. This is the knee this time. There's the knee. Kicking will be here. All right, there's the laces this time. There's the foot. So I draw the laces on. Here's the ball. All right. So the see where the knee is this time. It's not over the ball. It's behind the ball. All right. So where is this shot going to go? Or where is this pass going to go? All right. When you drive from the bum and the hip area to get your power, nice centre balance. All right. Arms wide to keep you nice and centred. Standing leg slightly further away from the ball. More 10 to 12 inches standing leg further away from the ball. So the mechanics here are going to send this ball up. Up and far depending on the power you put on it. Okay? That's what I mean with the knee area. Alright? So the first knee to keep the ball low was over the ball. So the mechanics of the foot were pointed downwards. Alright? Try it. Without a ball, you try it. Alright? Put your, put your knee behind the ball. Okay? And then look at your foot position. Alright? The foot will be in this position. Alright? Not this position. Okay? So the mechanics of knee over the ball, your foot will be here, hitting with the laces, toes pointed towards the ground, chest over the ball. Remember, power comes from the bum and the hip. Bang! Alright? We'll keep the shot low. When you move the mechanics of the knee and the action, when you make contact with the ball, your foot will be in this position. Alright, here's the ball. Your foot will be in this position. Obviously, if that's contacted bang there, that will send the ball upwards. Okay, for a high and far pass. The further back you want it to go even higher, you've got to lean further back. Okay, lean further back. If we lean, if we lean further back with the body, it's all about mechanics, guys. If we lean further back with the body, all right, and then the leg comes here, here's the knee, there's the foot, the ball will go even higher and further, depending on the power you put in from the buttock. All right, standing leg here. All right, so the mechanics of this, we lean further back, it's only going to send the ball upwards. All right, so that's what I mean as in the mechanics of the body and the action that we're using all right the further back you lean use your core use your arms for balance drive from the bum and the hip all right it will send the ball upwards all right now it's up to you to start understanding um, how high you want the ball to go or how low you want the ball to go all right so play around with those mechanics all right so once you've, I mean, once you've practiced as much as I have over the years and a lot of professional footballers or guys that are, are really good at manipulating the ball with passes, shots, all that kind of thing, it just comes naturally, alright? The more you do something, it's, it's going to become more natural to you, alright? So, the mechanics of the foot could be at this angle, alright? Toes pointed towards the ground point of contact here, send the ball low, alright, if you want it to go slightly higher, um, this is what Eduardo has asked, those passes that stay about a foot off the ground and really drill across the pitch, gets it there really quickly, but it's not, it's not getting slowed down by the grass because it's slightly off, off the ground, so then Eduardo, you need to slightly change the mechanics of the foot and the mechanics of the um, point of contact, so you want your foot slightly higher than pointed straight down all right so there's the angle of this foot we we'll send the ball up slightly but not too high all right you want it to go higher you change the angle here's the ball there's point of contact that's the direction of the foot it will send it slightly higher all right lean back with the body drop the knee below the ball ball comes down there's the foot that will send the ball even higher. All right? So you've got to work that out, guys. You've got to practice and just understand the mechanics of the, of the shot, of the pass, 
all right? You lean further back, the more you lean back into it and put power through from the bum and the hip, it's gonna send the ball higher. The more you lean over and point your toes towards the floor, it's gonna keep the ball lower, all right? You want the ball to um, be a foot off the ground and you really wanna drive a pass a foot off the ground so it's not getting slowed down by the grass or the pitch and it's getting there as quickly as possible but it's not really high in the air you've got to change the mechanics slightly from a real low pointed to maybe lean back a little bit further and change the angle of the foot alright so I hope that has um, answered some of your questions um, it's all about practice guys the more you practice the more you get out there uh, take three or four balls out, go down the park, all right, use, use that, that's all I did. When I was younger, I wasn't, I weren't trying to get, well, I did have a few girlfriends at school, but I weren't trying to get with the girls, I weren't out drinking with my friends, I wasn't playing video games, I wasn't drawing, I wasn't writing poems, or I wasn't doing my homework, I was in the garden, I was on the front, I was on the street, if not, I was grounded and I was in the house, I was in my room with a little softball, bang, bang, bang. Little interesting fact for you guys, they say to become a professional at any sport, all right, obviously there's luck and a few things along the way, but to become a professional in a sport, you need 10,000 hours of practice. All right. So if you've got a coach that is coaching you for an hour, but he keeps stopping the session, <laughs> hold it there, stop, and he starts coming in. Remember, that guy is only eating into your hours. All right. The more, and them hours don't have to be given by a coach. You don't have to be getting coached by a coach. It can be you on the front, down the park, in your back garden, practicing. Right, practicing the passes, practicing your crosses, practicing your skills. That counts towards that 10,000 hours. All right, but that is a general rule. All right, if you want to be a professional in any sport, you've got to try and put them hours in. All right, obviously, I spoke there about I didn't do my homework and things like that. I still think it's really important to, to you know, try your best at school. Um, but where you can f try and fit in them 10,000 hours and that's from once you start kicking a ball until you get to a professional level that's the general rule hope you've enjoyed the video remember the next video is going to be the big one it's going to be a giveaway it's going to be some kind of competition so make sure you subscribe and you keep asking those questions because like I say guys, it don't matter how many subscribers I've got, how many views I get, I'm going to keep doing this. Every Tuesday, you will get a video. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you again soon.